there is a real problem in the world for rapid and sensitive diagnostics for nearly all bioagents uh, that we know about. Uh, when Senators Leary and Daschle got the letters on the Hill on September the 18th, 2001, it took about 48 hours using a technology called RT-PCR to realize that the anthrax letters actually contained anthrax. Uh, since that time, the, the Institute of Fluorescence has been engaged in many bio defense and clinical programs and has developed a technology that is ultra-fast and ultra-sensitive and is widely considered to be the, the, the fastest and most, and most sensitive technology uh, for bioagent detection. We've recently been applying uh, this, uh, this ultra-fast technology for the detection of Salmonella enteritidis, which is really the most common form of, of Salmonella. And we can detect Salmonella in about 20 seconds also. So we can, for example, we can take chocolate cake or egg yolk uh, or any type of sample, run it on our platform, and we can get a hit for Salmonella enteritidis. In fact, on 16 different Salmonella cerebars, we get a pretty rapid, quick uh, and, 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 and estimation of the, the amount of Salmonella that's in a particular sample. Step one that my staff will show you is the actual lysing, the biological lysing of salmonella. They will take a, a salmonella sample, uh, they will lyse it, and what lysing means is they're going to extract the genomic material uh, from the salmonella. Uh, when they lyse, when you typically lyse salmonella using current lictic techniques that are out there, the problem is, is that when you're looking for low CFU or low copy number based detection, a lot of enzymes can chew up your biological targets. They can come along and literally Pac-Man your targets. And this is a real problem in the world for looking for very small quantities, minute quantities of bioagents. With our lysing technology that's now licensed to a company called Powerlyse, which are located on UMBC South Campus under the train name Powerlyse, we can actually put a microwave pulse into these solutions and like popcorn expands in a microwave cavity, we can blow bacteria apart and collect their genomic material within seconds using this lysing process. They will then take that lysate and then run it on the assay, which actually is the detection form of the assay, which, which allows us actually to see that it's truly uh, the salmonella that were there. If there is no salmonella present, they will see no fluorescence or no light. If salmonella enteritidis is present, they will very rapidly see a glow uh, of luminescence that's characteristic of the fluorophores and DNA scaffolds that are part of this immunoassay. I can imagine very small portable devices, not unlike a pregnancy test, where one can simply sample meat or, or food products to see if there's a level of salmonella that's actually there. Uh, I think that if, if that type of technology would be available to a test at eggs and other food products at the time, I think you could have a very low cost uh, extremely rapid and sensitive way of detecting salmonella literally by just swiping it over the top of food one would have some sort of answer uh, whether you have salmonella there or not.